welcome to Wi-Fi Sheep at Christmas for December 2020 with me, Tom. Now, I can't believe we're here at Christmas already. Where has the year gone and what a year it has been? Now, December the 1st was a special birthday for a certain special product. It was 39 years of the Acorn 8-bit BBC Micro. And I've got mine here, which I can just fit in frame. There we go. 39 years, the machine releasing in December 1981. However, did you know in the modern age of 2020 that there's a virtual BBC Micro that actually lives on Twitter? It's called the BBC Micro Bot. And what's even more fantastic about it is you can actually tweet it BBC Basic and it will give you a visual response. And that's what we're going to look at right here today on our very first Christmas video here on Wi-Fi Sheep. Speaking of Christmas, it is Christmas time once more and PCBGoGo.com have launched their greatest ever winter sale for the festive period and new year. Every day, PCBGoGo will choose one order randomly during December 2020, with that chosen lucky order being completely free of charge. But that's not all. PCBGoGo offers the biggest coupon giveaway for this year with a maximum of $155 off. And in the festive spirit, PCB GoGo are also preparing special surprise gifts included with PCB orders over $60 US. And if you're new to PCB GoGo, you can get a $50 new customer coupon. Don't forget to follow PCB GoGo on Twitter, that's at PCB GoGo official, to get more Christmas giveaways such as Amazon gift cards, MPCB cash, and much, much more. Scan the QR code on the screen now for more information. Now heading over to Twitter, that's twitter.com. If you haven't done already, do follow us at Wi-Fi Sheep. This is our profile here on Twitter. But it's not actually us we're interested in today. So let's just go home. And let's do a search for... BBC Micro, BBC Micro Bot, there it is. So the Twitter handle is at BBC Micro Bot. And basically how this works is that you can actually tweet BBC Basic directly to this account and it'll give you an outcome. So, you know what, let's have a go. Let's, um, let's try sending some code straight at it, see what happens. 1 x equals x plus 1 2 uh, print x 3 go to 1 see what happens check notifications ah there we go it worked So there's the code I put in, and there is the response, which is numbers scrolling up the screen. So that in itself is actually really, really cool. Okay, so that works relatively well. It's really cool to be able to tweet a bit of BBC Basic straight out of BBC Micro Bot and get a response in a reply live on Twitter. It's a fantastic achievement. I've really had a lot of fun with this. Now to celebrate the 39 years of the BBC Micro, the BBC Micro Bot has gone one better and actually released an IDE tool interface set called Owlet, which is available for free and online. So let's go over and have a look at the BBC Micro Bot's standalone website. That's bbcmicrobot.com. And this is really nice because it actually gives you an example of some of the best uh, tweets that the bot has been sent. And you can see some absolutely amazing work considering the tiny amount of code you can squeeze into a tweet. Because remember, tweets are limited in the number of characters you can actually send out. And there's some pretty awesome stuff. Uh, I like the Amiga. Is it Bing Bong the Ball? Well, I forget what it's called now. But if we click, it then goes into the BBC Basic Editor. Now, this is new and was launched to celebrate the BBC Micro's 39th birthday. So we've only had this literally since the 1st of this month, and it's now the 4th. 
but you can see it actually draws the code. We've got a development area here, so we've got code that we can type in. Bear in mind, this is all inside the web browser. I've not had to install anything. I'm not running any special plugins. There we go. And we can click to expand the code, and we can also shrink the code, which will put it into a smaller compact format that means we can squeeze that inside a tweet. But if we expand, we can actually read what's going on. So that's actually for basic, a really nice and quite impressive little demo. And we can pause. We've always got an examples button and that'll take us back through to the gallery. So we wanted a new session. If we head over to what I think is probably the coolest URL I've seen in a long time, it's bbcmike.ro. It's .ro Romania? I'm not sure, but it basically reads as BBC Micro. You just put a dot between the mic and the row bit. And uh, that's the web address for the new editor. And we actually have a what's called a IDE. Uh, and we can actually type basics. So let's try putting that program I did in Twitter back into here and see what happens. So if I say that x equals x plus 1. Notice it puts the line numbers in for you, which is really nice. 20 print x. Uh, close that for a minute. x. 30 go to 10. Oh, I'll allow it for the minute because I don't know what it's doing. Right. There we go. So now we hit run, you can see the exact same thing happens over here in our actual BBC Micro environment space. Bearing in mind this is not an interactive space, so you couldn't do an in key command or anything like that, you wouldn't be able to control anything, it's just for replaying graphics from the code. So if I now basically drop this down a line and we can put the computer into a graphics mode, so mode 1. And we can run again. That's interesting. Expected that to scroll actually, but never mind. That's interesting. Oh, I know why, because we're putting it into mode one every time, so we need to go, go to 20. There you go, that's what I expected. So this is a really, really fun space you can just experiment with and have a go creating programs really easily in BBC Basic and you don't even need to install a single piece of software on your computer. I actually think, although it might be a little bit tricky, this would probably work perfectly happily in most modern phones or tablets actually if you had the on-screen keyboard to type. It would be fiddly but I think it would probably work alright. So I've just typed in a new program. We're starting at uh, line 10 with mode 1 which is a medium resolution graphics mode. Then we're going to select a graphics colour, so G-Col is graphics colour. 0 is the attribute and then random 8, so it's going to pick between 0 and 8 for the colours. We're then going to draw and we're plotting an x and y coordinate, so random, random, and then we go to 20 will put us back to select a new colour. So let's see what happens. And there you go. It now draws random lines in the four colours, including black, that's available on screen. Let's pause that. And let's change to mode 2, which is low resolution but maximum colour mode on a BBC Micro. And let's run that code. I think I've got a flashing colour in there by accident, but never mind. And you see it's just going to randomly draw lines within the 1000 to 1000. I would say pixel, but it's not actually correct. It's um, uh, screen coordinates rather than pixel coordinates. OK, so we'll pause that. Now, if I click to shrink the code, look how minimal that code has been shrunk to. So if I now copy, paste, there we are. So what on earth happens now? I haven't a clue. That looks really, really strange. So just having a think about it, we might get a response shortly. There we go. We've just had a response. There we go, it's doing it. So that's fundamentally how the BBC Microbot on Twitter actually works. And I don't know about you, but I think it's really, really cool.
So as I already mentioned, that should work okay on most modern HTML5 compatible web browsers on desktops and perhaps also tablets and phones. But I know what you're thinking, does it work on the Raspberry Pi 400? Well, let's find out. So here we are then on a more or less stock Raspberry Pi OS running on the Pi 400. I say more or less, I've changed a few things cosmetically in a couple of settings, but that's about it. So let's try opening up web browser. And that's uh, Google Chromium as the stock browser on Raspberry Pi OS. And let's see go straight to the editor, which was BBC mic.ro for the Owlet editor it loads in an example for us well that appears to be working okay can we uh, maximize go full screen yeah can we pause this we can pause that this is a little bit slow my code and uh, let's try putting our lines program back in again see if that works so we'll say mode oops make sure your caps lock is on mode 2 uh, I got this on the Mac as well you may have seen it uh, it wants to send stuff to the clipboard or we'll say allow it's probably how it works actually so graphics color 0 and then we'll put a random in, R and D. And we'll, I think I said eight last time, which wasn't right. I mean, it's got up to seven, because it's zero to seven, which is your eight colors. 20. Okay, so let's click run. Ah, there we are. So yeah, it, it's working, it's a little bit slow. But I think it does answer the question. You can use the Owlet online editor. Remember, this is completely online. We haven't to download anything. We've not had to install anything. We're running completely in the cloud using the BBC Micro bot uh, to run basic code within our browser, within the Chrome browser on Pi 400. So that's great. And that means you don't have to have the original clunky hardware or install emulators or anything if you want to do some very simple BBC Basic or play around with the old 8-bit system. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed by that. That's worked really well. So hope you have lots of fun with that. You can find them on Twitter. It's at BBC Microbot on Twitter. Or you can go to their website, which is www.bbcmicrobot.com. And the Owlet editor, to go to it directly, this is, again, the coolest web address I've ever seen. It's bbcmic.ro. And I'll take you straight to the editor. So have lots of fun with that. And tell them Wi-Fi Sheep sent you. Now, before we go, I've got an announcement and a quick reminder. First of all, our Christmas content playlist is back up on the channel, so you can watch all the Christmas content from the past two or three years that we've done here on the channel, as well as all the new content we're going to create during December into the new year. And also, if you're around New Year's Eve, we're going to be live streaming and bringing in 2021 right here on the channel. We're going to be running a few retro games from the NES, N64 and PlayStation, PlayStation 2 era. We're going to start with a private Q&A with our Patreon backers. That'll be starting at 2100 hours GMT on the 31st of December. And then everyone can join us freely from 2200 hours where we'll be running right through until 1am on January the 1st. 2021. So I really hope you can join us for that and do follow us on our Twitter. It's at Wi-Fi Sheep for details of when we're actually going to be live streaming. If you want to join us on Patreon so you don't miss out, it's patreon.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep. And we're really honestly so grateful for everyone who does back us and supports the channel right there on Patreon. As always, if you haven't done already, please do like and subscribe and I will see you for another festive treat real soon right here on the channel. Thank you.